palette video today. Five boxes, one palette. What I was told is that these are labeled housewares, but from what it actually sounds like, this is more like a hodgepodge kind of palette. And if you've watched me now for a while, these hodgepodge kind of palettes are usually the most profitable ones out there because they can contain home goods, they can have some electronics in it, they can have sporting goods, they can have tools, apparel, pets. You've seen it on this channel, these hodgepodge, as I call them, palettes can have some like crazy stupid stuff in them sometimes. Off the wall stuff doesn't make any sense. So it was called housewares, but uh, usually it's like, like it's, it's usually called like a bed, bath, and home, not housewares. So that's why I was like, this might be a hodgepodge. But anyway, full MSRP, there's five boxes here, is $1,653. That's full Amazon, full price. Everything's brand new, but it's not. This is customer returns, Amazon warehouse damage, and Amazon overstock, but mostly customer returns. What I actually paid my cost is $170. That includes everything, fees, everything, and shipping because I don't pay shipping. I buy my liquidations locally to me and I pick them up in person so I have zero shipping costs. Always buy your liquidations locally. That's the best tip that I give everybody every single video because I'm always asked that. Clint, what's the best tip that you have for us? buy locally. Even if you have to drive five hours to your nearest liquidator, do it. It'll still be cheaper than paying shipping because these five boxes would have probably run me probably like 400 bucks in shipping. It'll be cheaper to pay for the gas. So first box, there's a lot of stuffing in here. So every item will be sold on either eBay, Amazon, or in my shop. All prices will be different depending on the platform. Whichever platform sells the highest profit, that's where I'll sell it. So, you ready to get going? Let's get going. First item, and it is, <laughs> this is a hodgepodge palette. First item, looks like it has to do with clothes. It says it, Liquid Air says that this was houseware or the liquidator basically goes by what Amazon tells them. So first item, the brand is JJ Perfection. It is a size US XL. Looks like it's a brand new women's top. So brand new with tags, top. It's easily 20 bucks right there off the bat, boom. Brand new clothes, can't beat that, right? So I'll keep a running tally at the bottom of the screen of uh, what I could sell stuff for. Everything that I quote in this video would just be an estimation during the editing process. This video, I'll get more up-to-date actual selling prices. Here's something, command strips. Got some right there. This something's really good for my dollar box that's in my shop. Good dollar box item. So this, one dollar. Next item. Oh, I know what this thing is. Um, let me do want to take this thing out. This is things called the Bubblegum uh, Baby Car Seat Booster. There's the, well, can't see, can't, oh, actually, you could see, it's, it's double-sided. Um, car Seat Booster. It does have its carrying case, so that's nice, so pretty much goes in the car. You could, you put your child's, you put your child, you put your child on it, it boosts them up. And this thing sells used on eBay for like 20-ish, as high as 25 with packaging. Without packaging, this would be about, about $20 on Amazon. Doesn't look used, looks like, yeah, it's not, not even used. It's just, it's an Amazon customer return without the original packaging. So that's an easy, easy 20 bucks again. So first three things, it's not too bad. Keep cruising. Whoa, look at this. That looks like some kind of scary things from uh, some kind of a scary movie right there. A short snout muzzle. I've never sold a short snout muzzle before. 
So see this 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 is kind of what I had a hunch. I like these hodgepodge pallets because these can be insanely profitable. Like you spend 150 bucks and it's not uncommon to make five, six hundred dollars profit on, on this pallet. It's not uncommon. These first five items, four items, you got a baby item, a clothes item, a house item, and a pet item. Everything is totally different, so my estimation was correct. When it, whenever I saw housewares, I'm like, I bet this is a hodgepodge. That was correct. So, short snap muzzle. That's easily 10 bucks, I bet. I mean, it looks to be brand new. It's still, it's in the packaging. I don't see dog hairs on it either. So, so far, there's a lot of, of like brand new items in this. Oh, here is a... That's also brand new. These I sell on eBay very, very quickly and easily. Keurig My K-Cup. I can sell these things for about 15 bucks really easily. After shipping and fees, you can easily clear like $10 of profit, but with shipping and fees and everything, I sell them for about $15 on eBay. It's an easy sell. And I've already got my listing, so all that I have to do is just hit relist button, and this thing is already up for sale. Too easy. Awesome. Ooh, let's see. We have an entire package of like a, a lunch sacks. Lunch bags. That'll go into my shop about five bucks. That's not an eBay type. I oh there. Sidetrack, but another my K cup thing. Another fifteen dollars. That's too easy right there. My goodness. Here is another brand new item. I am impressed with this. This first box has been really freaking good. Brand is Nalgene. Looks like kind of like a baby sippy cup kind of a thing. Actually, I think that's actually what it is. It's brand new. I'm gonna say at least $10. That might actually be a little bit low on it. Next item. Oh, it's heavy. That didn't sound good. This looks to be possibly uh, a air mattress or something. The brand is called Zotime. Yeah. I'll look this up actually whenever I'm done with this box. Yeah, I've only got a few items left. Let me let me finish these last few items and I'll look this thing up. Here's a piece of plastic. It looks like it's literally just a holder for like makeup and stuff. That's a dollar box. Here is a little thing of glass bottles. These usually come in a little white cardboard box. I've sold these things several times. Something like this though. A couple dollars, not much. But it's brand new, it's just missing its original packaging. Here's another brand new item. You got a Weber charcoal grate. That's freaking fantastic. More brand new stuff. So far, the customer returns on this first box have been extremely low. It's been mostly Amazon, uh, I'd say, warehouse damaged items. You know, it's kind of like this. This is Amazon warehouse damaged. The factory, like the box is just, it got, it got, it like got crunched in the warehouse. You know, like this, I'm guessing. I don't know. Anyway, keep going. Probiotic every day. It's a dog. Okay, that this is a customer return there. So this will ooh smells just because it smells like dog food. I'll put this into my shop more than likely for not for much because it's opened up. So Probably about five bucks. I'm sure it sells for a lot more than that though, brand new. Here's just, what is this? 100% composable materials? I don't know. A green plastic box thing. Dollar item, good price. Ooh, this has an NFL patch on it right there. What is this? Is this some, some kind of clothing? What are you? I see the Cleveland Browns right there. This is torn, whatever that is. 
Looks like it's like a fanny pack, maybe. It's a completely beat up and torn, destroyed fanny pack. Yeah, that's kind of trash. Both sides are completely torn up. Oh, it's a hand warmer. Put your hands in it, duh. I think, Clint, think. Yeah, it's a hand warmer, but it's completely trashed. Yeah, that's, that's trash. It's completely ripped out and ripped up. So let me look up this, that's, that's the first box. Let me look up this Zoe time, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm about to look to see what size this thing is. I'll have to research a little bit more. But a Zoe Time, a Queen Air Mattress, a big one, uh, like a double size Air Mattress Queen, sells for like $90 new. So, um, and a King sells for around 100 For the size of this thing, this has to be either a Queen or a King. So it sells new for about 90 to 100 so in this condition, I'd say maybe about 40 bucks. So that's not bad. So that's the first box. Let me box this stuff up. Let me bring up the second box. I'll be right back. Box number two. So box one. Not that bad, right? So I'd say that was more Amazon warehouse damaged than it was customer returns. So that's a positive. That's what we like to see. This one looks interesting. There's only a few things in this box. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, I think it's a pillow on top. First thing, let's pull this out, let's get going. A Coolex adjustable thickness gel fiber pillow. So this is definitely gonna go into my shop because it's very hard to sell open package pillows online. People just aren't going to buy things like this. But my shop, something like this, I could probably price for at least $10 and it will sell. Slowly, but it will sell. Very slowly. Next, we have... Whatever it is, it's used. It's kind of brown. Yeah, well, let's open it up. Why not? What are you? I don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is. It's like a, a shape of a ball. There's no openings to this thing. It's used, it's kind of dirty, have no clue what, what this thing is, but it's in the shape of a ball. There's no openings to it. I have no clue what this thing is. Oh, found a zipper. So there is a zipper. The inside has all kinds of hair in it. That's gross. I don't know. That's just kind of nasty. That might get tossed. That's just, I don't know, that's kind of gross. Next, let's keep cruising. We have a master lock safe space. You have seen this before in a past video. The last one we got was already locked by the previous owner who returned it to Amazon. And uh, once they return it already locked, that kind of makes it... It makes it kind of difficult to get into. So, once again, it's already been locked by the previous person. I know some might have some tips about how to get this thing opened up. Um, let's see. Of course, it says on the front of the box, the factory setting is zero, 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 zero. Let me set it back to that, see if it'll pop open. No. So somebody set the lock to their own combination. So how do you crack that? I don't know. So any tips below? Let me know. How would you crack a master safe space lock when somebody has it set to their own combination and putting it back to factory settings at 0000, 000 does not work? I'm sure some people will say, well, you put your ear to it, you listen for the click. Man, you... 
can't do that. Anyway, I'm half deaf in my right ear, so I don't hear that well, and I can't hear, I can't hear little tiny clicking sounds. I just don't hear well enough to hear that. So, any ideas? How? Let me know below. Next, we have a used silver-ish pot that somebody covered in tape to keep the lid on. <coughs> oh God, that it, oh God, the inside smells like moldy, oh God, that almost made me throw up, like no, <laughs> like no joke, it almost made me throw up, the inside smells so bad, it smells like somebody used it a long time ago, didn't wash it, and that food inside there is like old and moldy now. That smelled really bad. Oof. That stunk. That's going to get pitched. So here we go. Here's a pitcher with uh, like three of them in there. Kind of like a sealant thing to keep probably fruits fresh. Uh, actually, yeah, three lime large canisters. This probably uses about 15 bucks right there. Probably like five bucks a piece. It's not bad. We got two things left in this one. Dirt Devil. Decent seller. I actually sell these in my shop for $15. It's used. Packaging on is really beat up. I have to test thing out make sure it works, but if it does work, I sell these things in my shop easily for $15. Bucks. Last thing in the first box, or second box, we have a Nostalgia Toaster. Toasters are kind of a hot commodity. Uh, I don't get them as often as I'd like in liquidations. When I do get them, I usually put them to my shop because people are begging for toasters all the freaking time. This one is used. It's got usage marks on it. Somebody packed it back in nicely though. So I have to make sure it turns on, make sure it works. But if it does, this is easily probably 12 bucks in that range, more than likely. So anyway, that's the second box. Let me pack up the second box now. And we move this around, I'll bring up the third box and we'll get right back to this. So first two boxes, not too bad. We're, I'm probably back even, I bet, or close to it. So I'll be right back. Stay with me. Box number three. Keep this going. Hopefully we get some goodies. Come on. Well, we'll just do it this way. Much easier. Hopefully, get some goodies, keep this going. At least this box smells fresh. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. Yeah. There we go. You see on the very top, we got some damp rid. I sell this in my shop for $6. I think I've got a couple left, so that adds one more to my stack. Next we have standard bags. Oh, these are poop bags for like your for your pet. I'm gonna have to look these things up, but a 270 poop bags, maybe about 10 bucks. But this is like, like this is like a specialty brand though. Some of the specialty stuff can get pricier depending on the brand. So, oh here we just got it looks like a pink hoodie. Nothing special. It looks used. I see hair stuck to the sleeve right here. So, yeah, we'll just python it into my dollar box. I don't like really messing. Ooh. That looks like a baby's, like, under, like, pants. It looks like there's remnants of possibly a little bit of baby poo-poo. Some dried... Uh, you know, little sweetness there. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. This is just Amazon bagging right here just to keep it clean while it's in liquidation. Open this thing up. This is nice. Look at this. Callaway Golf. 360 view, brand new with tags. There is the UPC code. Actually focused on it too. If anybody's curious about 
what the UPC code is. You can look it up yourself. This is UPC or the Callaway Tour Authentic Odyssey Callaway Chrome Soft Rogue Series hat. Has all the inner stuff in it still. So brand new. That's a nice hat. I'm gonna say this is probably what twenty twenty five dollars. That's nice. Can't beat that. Brand new hat with tags. Awesome. Next, uh, this thing's kind of in pieces right here. We got things falling apart and uh, yeah. Dollar box, make that quick and simple. Here we got a thing of garden, actually, I'm just gonna have this thing right down. My wife's gonna wanna keep this. This is garden feeder stuff, so. We won't even talk about that because more likely wife sees that, she'll be like, we can use that. Cascade Mountain Tech. What is this? Folding aluminum trekking. Let's take, let's, let's take a look at this. What is this? Oh. Oh, this has got value. Cascade Mountain Tech looks like some uh, like hiking poles. There's two of them in here. You got all your little like ends for them and stuff. Let me look this thing up real quick. I'll be right back. I just did a quick little search. Looks like these aren't as expensive as I thought they'd be. So looks like these things will be about eh, like 30, 40 bucks. So in this condition, it looks like these are pretty much like open package item. Maybe about $25, but that's actually pretty nice. I'll take it, you know. Oh, we got a little pool float thingy. That's like a dollar box. Looks used. What are you? This has a big hole in it. So this is trash. I mean, this has, yeah. The trash can's almost full. Oh, look at this. Here's another one of the Callaway hats. Two of them. This one has a little bit of a crunched front to it, but pop it right, right back out, mostly. Yeah, this one has just a little bit of Front, I want to call it damage, but front, like you know, just got a little bit crunched while it's in the box. So, two brand new attack Callaway hats. So, I can't beat that, but this one I'd say this is probably this this one I'd say by more like 25. This one's probably more like 20 just because the front of this one got a little bit crunched in, in the box, so it's lost its shape. So, knock off you know a few dollars just because it lost its shape a little bit in the box. But I might be able to fix that. I don't know. I'll have to work on it a little bit. Next item. A secretive black box. The, ooh, what's this? Okay, the box has no marking, no branding, no, no nothing. I opened it up. I saw some headphones. Ooh, what is this? I see Sony. These are nice. So on the bottom here is the charging cords and stuff for it. Let's see, what's the model on this thing? This might be something kind of pricey. So this is, it says, a Sony wireless noise canceling stereo headset. Wow. This is random in this. Hutch, let me look this thing up real quick. Bear back. Well, this thing on Amazon sells new for $159. Are you serious? So these Sony headphones, I'm looking at right now, the wireless noise canceling headphones, like they're in phenomenal condition. I mean, there's like no wear at all on these headphones. There is zero wear on them. They sell for $159.99 or used new on Amazon. 
pretty much like new condition and the original box with all accessories. I, I bet these are easily probably $125. Well, of course, I might have to charge these things up, make sure they work. But I think I just got a fantastic score in this liquidation. I was not expecting to pull out some expensive Sony wireless, like, headphones in this. That's awesome. Wow. That's, that's, I'm like shocked. I wasn't expecting that in this. That is so cool. I love my, like, electronic kind of gadgets. So, anyway, rotor wheel. Yeah, five bucks. Yeah, about five bucks. Two things left in this box. A Hamilton Beach sandwich maker. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds kind of used. I'll have to test this thing and make sure it works. But used condition, no, no matter what, this was going to my shop. About $8, not much. Oh, we have a little doggy bowl. About a dollar. Ujami. What is Ujami? What in the world? We have a rope. We have, it looks like some kind of game or something. Ujami. That's gonna take a little bit of research, but some kind of game it looks like. What does it say right now? Maybe about $10, $15? More research, but last thing in this third box. And it looks freaking awesome. This looks incredible. This brand is called, I me mean, High Sierra. It's brand new with tags. It looks like a very, very high quality bag. Okay. None of the zippers are busted. All the zippers are good. The clasps are good. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a this is a brand new bag. Let me look this thing up. Right, the, I saw the barcode. There's the barcode. Show everybody who's watching this. Right there is the barcode for this bag. So you, can, you can look it up yourself if you want to. I'll be right back. This is awesome. So this bag is normally $79.99. And right now it's on sale on, on Amazon for $60.51. So it's like 60 bucks. It is a High Sierra XBT TSA laptop backpack. So right now, it's a $60 bag, brand new with tags. Like 100% brand new with tags. This is incredible. This liquidation has been incredible. Wow, there's been so much brand new stuff in this liquidation. Brand new with tags, I mean Callaway hats, expensive backpacks, Sony Wallace headphones. Wow, this has been an incredible liquidation. This is, wow. Okay, so 60 bucks. Like, I'm gonna ask probably like 50 bucks for this thing, because it's brand new with tag, retails for 60 on Amazon, so I'll give like a deal at 50 bucks for, for this bag. It is 100% brand new, there's nothing wrong with this bag. So that's awesome. So let me pack this up, I'll be right back with box number four. Let's keep this going. This is like, this is an incredible liquidation. Box number four. Box number three is going to be a tough one to beat. That was that was an epic box three. Wow. Two brand new Callaway golf hats. A Sony wireless uh, noise canceling headphones. That Sierra backpack, brand new with tags. That was a crazy box three. I don't think box four or five is going to top box three. There's no way. There's box four. I can look at box four and already say it's not being box three. But here we go. First thing, we got a heating pad. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be tested out. But heating pad used, yeah, like, ten bucks. Not a whole lot. Appliances. GE. Genuine replacement part. What kind of replacement part is this? Uh, 
Yeah, we'll have to make sure this thing isn't broken or whatever, but G, replacement part for something. I don't know value. It's probably not a whole lot, maybe like 30, 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Not 100% sure. But next item, a brand new factory sealed box of hefty 45 gallon contra contractor, contractor, I was putting the wrong illibus on the wrong syllable. Yeah, something like that. Heavy duty contractor cleanup bags. So that's cool, brand new bag. So these will be perfect for something. So I keep all my trash bags, so something like this. Easily a $10 bill, but I'll be keeping it. Next we got no more spots and film on dishes and glassware. Dish detergent booster. Is it for the dishwasher? Maybe? Kind of? Yeah, I think so. Thanks for the dishwasher. Something like this, maybe five, six bucks a piece. So this whole bag, probably somewhere between 15 to $20 for all three of these. More than likely, so that's not bad. More brand new stuff in this bag. Like brand new, bags are brand new. This thing has been full of a lot of brand new items. This has been kind of crazy. That is heavily used, like mold growing on it. So, yeah, Marine Land, and it even sounds broken. More than likely, this is probably going to be trash. It's heavily, heavily used. So, I'm not even going to count that in right now with anything because it's probably not even going to work. Yeah, so, it's probably trash. Little baby sippy cup. That's like two or three dollars. Oh, we have a cast iron pan. Brand is Lodge. Go ahead and crack that open. Let's see, it is used, but fantastic condition. Something like this. It's about ten dollars though. Can't beat that. Still easy money. People love buying their cast iron. Here's a brand new pair of Crocs with tag still attached. More brand new stuff. Uh, what size is this? Women's size nine. Brand new. Crocs. What are Crocs going for these days? 20 bucks maybe? No, I'm actually, I'm not really even sure what Crocs are even going for these days. But more new stuff. Ugh, that looks nasty. Straight to the trash. Time cube. Just turn it and boost activity. Time cube, let's turn it around. Requires two AAA batteries. I don't know what this is. So simple to turn it. I would say about five bucks. No clue what that is. No clue. Dry shampoo paste. Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Yeah, I'm like really happy that I bought this palette and I got it for a really cheap price. Like, like what I say, one, one seventy. Oh, this is a wall. Uh, razor, electric razor. Very heavily used. Very, very heavily used. But in that condition, it's about five bucks. If if it works, if it's not burnt out. What is this? Coffee grinder. That's gonna to need to be tested though. Lots, lots of times these coffee grinders get burnt up pretty easily. Yeah, it's it's pretty used. Lots of times these things get burnt up pretty easily from usage. But if it's working condition, very used, that's like six dollars. If it's burnt up, obviously it's trash. Uh, that's used. Like a coffee pot thing. That's a good dollar box item. I haven't said that for quite a while. Dollar box. Here is one Splenda packet. 
a random one Splenda packet. I'm guessing who whoever was packing this liquidation box must have been uh, making some coffee and they just tossed in this, uh, like a Splenda packet for me. Appreciate it, but I don't need any Splenda. That's interesting. Let's see. Somebody wrote all over this box. It says, I can't read it. Teodora Tazonia. I don't know what they were writing. Oh, it's pet train and puppy pads. Oh, I see. So it's not fetter seal. It has been retaped. I'll go ahead and crack it. If it was still like the original tape, I wouldn't be doing this right now. But it's not the original tape job. Coo coo. Yeah, these things, I can usually sell these on uh, eBay for about 20 bucks. Brand new sealed still, also. Puppy training pads. Can't beat that. So that one is box number four. Not as good as box three. But let me pack up this, because my table's full. I'll be right back with box number five, the final box. Last box. Yeah, looks like I see a couple of big box items. Some very big box items in here. Might not be a whole lot in this box. Looks like we got a tablecloth right here. It's like a buck. Another white tablecloth, the exact same one, another dollar. Then we got like four or five big box items. Wow, this packaging on this thing is absolutely destroyed. Oh my goodness. Wow, uh, I'm gonna set that down to the side right now. That's probably gonna go into my dollar box and just put like a note on that thing that says, uh, inspect carefully before buying. Cause that thing is absolutely, that box is freaking Beat. Next item. Appears to be brand new. Because it still has like the factory front on it. It's a zero water. Uh, kind of like a, you know, like a Brita thing. Water purifier jug thingy. You know what I'm saying. But these things sometimes get damaged during shipping or during storage. So far, it looks good though. Filter. Huh. No, it looks good. I think it is 100% totally brand new. Doesn't look cracked, doesn't look damaged. Interesting. So we got another completely brand new item with the filter in it and everything. Sometimes these things just get bought because people just want to get the filter out of these things and then, because they just want a free filter, then they return them, but this thing is 100%, it's brand new. I don't see any damage to it anywhere. So, in this condition, you know, this is probably about $25, 20 to 25 in that range. So, I mean, that's it's not bad. I will take that. So, another brand new item. Next, we have a Nutribullet. These things always part them out, but uh, these bases, I always sell these things individually if they work. The base you can get about 25 bucks for if it works. Uh, the actual blades itself right here, if it works, you get about 20 bucks for, for the blade. So as long as both these parts work, you can get 25 and 20. So combined, you get around $45 for those. If they both work, sell them individually. Always part those bad boys out. We have our first As Seen On TV item. The ultimate gimmicky items that say As Seen On TV. And it, whoa, that thing is very, very used. It's like covered in like black, kind of moldy looking dirt dust stuff all over it. So since it got returned, I bet you it doesn't even work. So, uh, but if it does work, just because it's probably it's probably crap, just because it's as seen on TV kind of junk. So it it's it's heavily heavily used. 
I probably wouldn't sell for much more than five bucks if, if, if it even works, if. But I'll test it out, and if it works, I'll probably sell for like five bucks. We got two things left, and this, this whole palette's done. We're almost complete. So here we have a DeWalt bag. Is this like, uh, what kind of bag is this? It's insulated right there. Okay. Insulate on the inside. It looks like it's kind of like kind of like a lunch bag. So it's an insulated lunch bag. It is used. Looks like there's some ink inside of this thing. It's very lightly used though. But in this condition, I wouldn't sell this for much at all, honestly. I don't even know how much a DeWalt lunch bag would sell for. I didn't know that DeWalt made lunch bags. I could be totally off my rocker though. This might not even be a lunch bag, but it has to be because it's the inside's insulated to keep something in there cold or hot. But uh, I bet you new it probably goes for about 20 bucks, but the way it sits, I'll probably put it to my shop for like $5, not very much, just because I don't see anybody really rushing out to buy a DeWalt lunch bag. I could be wrong though. I have been wrong before in my life. Last item, this is it. Ugh. We have a shipping label from the person who shipped it back. I don't want to show their address. What is it? Awesome. Looks like we got some more brand new items. We have a Rug Doctor Platinum Professional. This one is leaky, no? So I'm gonna put that down right now. Then we have another Rug Doctor. Is this one leaking? That one's also leaking. So I think that's why the person returned because they're all kind of leaking. Then here's another Rug Doctor. This one's not leaking. A pet Rug Doctor. This one's the big bottle. Professional strength Rug Doctor carpet cleaner stuff. It feels full. It doesn't feel like there's anything out of it. It feels completely full. I bet you this thing's probably like, what, 10, 15 bucks at least? The other two, they feel full, but they are leaking because there's fluid in the bag, like in the bottom that's rolling around. So that kind of stinks. But the bags aren't leaking. So they might be okay. It looks like Pet Doctor, or whatever it is, Rug Doctor, actually put these in bags purposely for, for the leakage. I guess, possibly. So, I'll have to research these three things right here. Because these actually might be okay that during shipping, they, they might have actually been known to leak. That's why Rug Doctor put these into bags. I bet that's what they actually did because these bags itself did not leak. These bags are like freaking airtight. So, that's probably normal small leakage during shipping, I bet. More than likely. So, these three things, I... They, they might be like five, ten bucks a bottle there, plus I bet you this is probably ten or fifteen. So these three, I wouldn't be too shocked if they're like 30, 40 bucks for all three. I could be totally off though. I'll update it. So that's awesome. So that's it. That is all five boxes. I think this palette is going to end up being pretty freaking profitable when it's all said and done. I'll find out during the editing process. I'll make sure to update this at the very end of the video. So I paid 170 bucks for all this stuff. How many items did I pull out that were brand freaking new? There was a lot in this palette that were brand new that I don't know how it ended up in this palette of customer returns. A lot of this stuff was not uh, factory damaged. A lot of this stuff I wouldn't, it could have been warehouse overstock, but I don't even think it was overstock. I don't know how this stuff ended up in this palette. It's possible. A lot of the stuff that was brand new was customer returns. It's just the customer returned it completely brand new. That is possible. Yes, it is. Like that backpack we saw earlier. Like that could have been 100% returned by the customer completely brand new with tags. That happens. I've returned stuff completely brand new before and Amazon could have just liquidated it. That happens. So this palette was fantastic. Awesome palette. I've I've actually talked to you guys before that I think if you want to get into the, the, the liquidation business, the most fun palettes to go through obviously are like electronics and collectibles and toys and stuff like that. Those are fun. That's the fun stuff. But the profitable stuff are palettes like these. Kind of like what I call them the hodgepodge. You got to look for ones that say things like housewares on them. Or ones that don't only really have titles, 
but the title will just say something like, uh, like it'll say DeWalt, Rug Doctor, and Arctic Air. It'll have three things as the title to the auction or to the liquidation or whatever you're buying that has nothing that they have nothing in common with each other. That should send off some bells saying, that sounds kind of like a hodgepodge palette. That could be something like this where you're pulling out Sony wireless headphones. You're pulling out brand new Callaway golf hats with tags. You're pulling out expensive like hiking backpacks brand new with tags. You're pulling out brand new rug doctor chemical stuff. I mean, you're pulling out some nice stuff here. Like these palettes are what you want to go for if you're a liquidator. Like these are the ones... Like, these are the ones that I typically go for as a liquidator if I'm trying to make as much money as possible. If I want to have fun and just get cool stuff, it's electronics, it's toys and collectibles. But if I want to make money, I'm going for these. A little tip for you guys. So, make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm sure a lot of you already have. I've gained something like 50,000 subscribers in the past like six, seven weeks. My channel has like, had some crazy growth. So thank you so much everybody who's given my channel a chance, subscribed to me, watched me. Thank you so much. So we got electronics palette coming up this Saturday. I've got three palettes of electronics that I picked up. So I just gotta pick one and that's the one that I'm gonna do this Saturday. I'm not sure which one it's gonna be yet. Next week, I'm gonna do probably another electronics during the week and then something else. So be on the lookout. We're gonna have a lot of electronics coming up the next week. So it's gonna be fun. Hopefully we get some cool vinyl, maybe some games, some gaming systems. I don't know. Hopefully we get some cool stuff. So be on the lookout. Set your little notification bells down below and I'll see you soon.